also performed this multilingual repertoire in a very American form of singing, the Hutene. She even coined the German word for it, Hutene, <laughs> capital H. Those of you who know German know what I'm talking about. You know, it sounds kind of like it could be in a short, like it's a weird word. It's a weird word. I don't know the etymology. That's a job for my colleague, Leah Leora Halpern. I don't know if she's here. <laughs> Which had come to her and to East Germany direct from a Canadian Jewish, shout out to the Canadians, Canadian Jewish banjo folk musician, Perry Friedman. No. All right. <laughs> Luke Nannies were communal affairs usually in intimate performance spaces, not really like this, like a small club in which the line between the performer and the audience dissolved. That's not true here, because this is formal. Yeah. <laughs> the two also helped found the Festival of Political Song in 1970 that brought performers from around the world, including Vietnam here, to East Berlin to celebrate music's role in political change. From the mid-1970s, she and Raebling toured to places where they had personal connections, often through leftist Jewish communities who wanted to hear her Yiddish and anti-fascist music. These later tours, which by the 1980s involved the whole family, brought her to the United States and to Israel. She and her family, in fact, were the first people to sing in German in the hallowed halls of Yad Vashem. In 1987, daughter Yalda launched the Days of Yiddish Culture, a wildly successful Yiddish cultural venture that took place in East Berlin, at which the whole family was together on stage. The show included an aging Lynn, beloved by her adoring fans, yet little known outside of Germany and the leftist circles across the globe for which she performed. Okay, you guys got the, the whole body percussion thing down, so I'm going to teach you another one. So you'll accompany us with Marie. By the way, did you know that this is Marie Alves? She's a local treasure, so... She has shows with Dave O'Brien. 